Macmillan Audio presents Extreme Ownership by Jocko Willink and Leif Babin. Read for you by the authors. Of the many exceptional leaders we served alongside throughout our military careers, the consistent attribute that made them great was that they took absolute ownership, extreme ownership, not just of those things for which they were responsible, but for everything that impacted their mission. These leaders cast no blame. They made no excuses. Instead of complaining about challenges or setbacks, they developed solutions and solved problems. They leveraged assets, relationships, and resources to get the job done. Their own egos took a backseat to the mission and their troops. These leaders truly led. In the years since we left active duty, we have worked with multitudes of business professionals, from senior executives to frontline managers across a vast range of industries, including finance, construction, manufacturing, technology, energy, retail, pharmaceutical, healthcare and also military, police, fire departments, and emergency first responders. The most successful men and women we've seen in the civilian world practice this same breed of extreme ownership. Likewise, the most successful high-performance teams we've worked with demonstrate this mindset throughout their organizations. Since the publication of Extreme Ownership, we've heard from readers across the United States and around the world whose lives have been strongly impacted for good. They've told us how implementing its principles changed their lives and made them better. A more productive employee, a more supportive spouse, or a more engaged parent. Once people stop making excuses, stop blaming others, and take ownership of everything in their lives, they are compelled to take action to solve their problems. They are better leaders, better followers, more dependable and actively contributing team members, and more skilled in aggressively driving toward mission accomplishment. But they're also humble, able to keep their egos from damaging relationships and adversely impacting the mission and the team. We've heard countless stories about how applying these combat leadership principles have helped readers accomplish what others, or even themselves, had previously thought impossible. Extreme ownership has helped people all over the world launch a successful company or nonprofit, receive a major promotion, land a better job with greater responsibility and more opportunity for growth, hit numbers far beyond expectations, achieve special recognition as an exceptional team member, or accomplish their goals, whatever they may be. Every day, we hear news stories, different people, different businesses, different industries. The details change. The characters are diverse. There are always slight differences in the way things unfold. But their outcomes are ultimately the same. I can't believe how well that works, is a common response. The principles are simple, but not easy. Taking ownership for mistakes and failures is hard. But doing so is key to learning, to developing solutions, and ultimately, to victory. Those who successfully implement these principles run circles around the rest of the world. Since the release of Extreme Ownership, the fundamental principles of combat leadership that we learned on the battlefield of Iraq have been exposed to, understood, and implemented by hundreds of thousands of readers around the world. We've worked with thousands more individuals through our leadership consulting business, Echelon Front, and reached a vast audience on social media. We've also been fortunate to receive feedback from many of them on a daily basis. Their responses have been incredible. We've heard from readers who call the book life-changing, the best leadership book I've ever read, and exactly what I needed to hear. 